do what's right. We have manners. We're polite. Yo, we do. This is my life. Yes, so you do do like what you do, you know. Oh, what you do? Like everybody else in America, fuck you. Fuck you. Sisters and I are like all huge fans as well. Mm -hmm. So we went and we went backstage to surprise her to, you know, so that she could get to meet her. And she was just so sweet. She just came over and she said, you know, I love your show. You know, do you mind if coming out to do the style walk? The style walk. Right. And I said, of course I don't mind. Of course I'll come out and do it. Yeah. And um, I got to walk out there with her at uh, MetLife Stadium mm -hmm. in New Jersey. And it was like 65,000 people. It was unbelievable me and a bunch of models because uh -huh. I'm a model so right. <laughs> It was her squad, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Victoria's Secret. Yeah. Very cool. Very, cool. very cool. Um, let's talk about Orange is New Black. So, uh, Crazy Eyes, this character. First of all, before we get to the character, you were going to quit acting the day that you got this role, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you just you were late for the audition, and you just decided. Uh, I. How how long had you been trying that you thought you should quit? Um, that summer I had been trying for television for the first, I had never really auditioned for television or film or anything mm -hmm. before then. Um, but I had been trying to be an actor for about 10 years and I just kept hearing that summer a lot of no, no, mm, no, you know? So I just started feeling like maybe this isn't for me. And my, fam my family's from Nigeria, um, originally. So typical tradition going into, you know, medicine or being a lawyer, my parents thought I would be a good lawyer because I can talk a lot and have voice since I was a kid. Uh -huh. And so um, I thought maybe I should be doing that instead. Maybe I should be in the law. And um, yeah, I was late for that audition, which is actor no-no. Yeah. Never supposed to be late. And so I thought, this is the universe telling me that this is not for me. And I need to go and find something else to do. And I quit. And it was the first time I ever had. I'd never really quit before. And um, when I got home, I got a phone call, and they said, we have really great news for you. I said, what's the news? And they said, you remember that audition for Orange is the New Black? I said, yeah. I said, remember what part you went in for? I went for another part. I said, yeah, no, like, you didn't get it. Um, <laughs> but they'd like to offer you another part. And I said, what's the part? And they said, crazy nice. So what did you go for originally? I really went in for the part of Janae. It was a track star played for by um, Nikki Jr. Yeah, on the show. Yeah. She's great. Yeah, she is. Um, so, and then when, they, when you get crazy eyes, um, you, did you do Crazy Eyes before? How did they know you could be Crazy Eyes? I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I mean, had they seen that look? <laughs> was that you and then, you know, showing up late or something? And, <laughs> and then they thought, maybe she should be Crazy Eyes. <laughs> maybe that's what that 20 minutes late did. It actually got you a different role. So uh, you are nominated for another a Golden Globe and SAG Award. Congratulations, you won the Emmy last year. And there's, um, there you are. You now you're very emotional and uh, and you're you're crying and I assume you're going to cry again because it's a very moving thing, right? So I got you yeah. something because there's a lot of award shows coming up and you need to be prepared. Oh gosh. It's a purse, but it's also tissue. Ah! So, uh, you can actually. Uh, yeah. Nobody will ever know. And then you just you hold it, uh, you hold it like that, and then you wrap this around. <laughs> All right. You can watch Orange is the New Black 
uh, on Netflix. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Mornings have more with 12 today. I'm super, super excited about this. Come over here and propose. Right here. Do you want to stump Matt tomorrow? It's very important for anyone with kids. There's a lot of moving parts in this story. When you want more in your mornings, turn to 12 today. Oh, there's got to be an easier way. Looking to make shopping easier this holiday season? Try an American Furniture Warehouse gift card. Let your loved ones select from a variety of furniture and unique accent pieces that will enhance any home this holiday season. So join us and let them go nuts this year, only at American Furniture Warehouse. <laughs> Finding the right gift hasn't always been easy for me. Color maps. But last year, I nailed it. Tanned and stone spa gift cards. Everybody loves getting the luxury spa experience. And I like the price. My wife got a massage. Mom got a facial. Even Dad got a uh, peppermint scalp massage. It's the gift that makes me feel great. Which makes me look pretty good. Save on hand and stone gift cards and spa gift packages. The gift they love at a price you'll love even more. Maya's a dreamer, and Maya thinks there's nothing she can't do. After she was born, they noticed that things weren't growing properly. The muscle was not growing at all and was not allowing the bones to grow as well. And the reality was that she would have to have surgeries in order for her to walk. Once in recovery, she has never had any issues, and that's because of the doctors at PCH. We have just been the chosen family to be able to have the doctors that she had. Giveaways. I get to see my staff like I've never seen them before. They dress up and pretend to be guests on the show. The audience never really knows what's happening, and that is half the fun to me. Take a look. She is a factory worker from Michigan who won the $330 million Powerball lottery. I couldn't believe it. I still can't believe it. $330 million. So, and what are you going to do with all that money? I'm going to spend it. Yeah, you sure? Yeah. Listen, our friends at Shutterfly love stories like this, and uh, they want to give you a check for $50,000.